And with monsoon season approaching, El Pasoans are hoping to avoid major flood damage like what we saw last year. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us, and Shelby, some were able to give input on areas prone to flooding at a meeting. Uh, what are the plans to improve those areas? Yeah, Natasia, Flood Planning Group is actually working on publishing the first regional flood plan that will be used to get federal funding for flood improvement projects here in El Paso. Now, residents have been giving their input on what flooding and in what areas it's most common. Every time it rains, when we have a serious rain, there is severe flooding in our area. El Pasoan Angelo Pocluda sharing photos and videos of flooding from his driveway. Our basements flood. Our property suffers damage. Um, again, we've had casualties, we've had death. Um, it's, it's serious, and it's, it happens every time now that it rains, usually in August. Another resident saying safety is her biggest concern. When I heard on the news that, you know, just a few blocks, you know, up our street, there was that woman and her granddaughter who, you know, the, the living room wall collapsed on them and killed them in that flooding. Um, that, that broke my heart, and I was really mad about it. And so, you know, when I, you know, I'm mostly concerned that this water isn't going isn't gonna to hurt anybody else. Saying she moved into her home in the summer of 2021, and shortly after, it flooded. It's our first home, so we had no idea what to expect. Um, there wasn't any record that this was in a flood zone or that it was, you know, that there had been, you know, flooding in the past. And so we walked into it and didn't really understand what we were getting into. The flooding group saying this type of input is important. Without the input of the public, it's going to be a lot harder for us to really understand what's happening down in the ground. Our models can can indicate, hey, this area is very prone to flooding. But unless uh, members of the uh, of the community tell us, uh, you know what, maybe you might you might want to extend or expand your flood risk area because this is what happened a couple of years back. And the Upper Rio Grande Flood Planning Group saying that flood improvements could mean lower or no flood insurance payments for some residents if the improvements reduce the flood risk. Natasia. It's great to see residents being able to speak out because when we've been out there at flooding, they always voice their concerns to us. So it's nice to see that they can do this. Um, you mentioned, Shelby, that these, uh, these funds would be federal funds. So how much are available? Yeah, they're definitely hearing what the people have to say, seeing what areas need that funding. And it's coming from federal funds, yes, and they say they have $1.7 million to use in the region for these improvements. All right, Shelby, thank you so much for that report.